हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ईसी एकेडमी इन दिस लेक्चर लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड द इंट्रोडक्शन टू डिजिटल सिग्नल प्रोसेसिंग फर्स्ट लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज अ सिग्नल सिग्नल इज वन दैट कन्वेस इंफॉर्मेशन बाय मींस ऑफ गेस्चर एक्शन और साउंड सो सिग्नल इज यूज्ड टू कन्वे द इंफॉर्मेशन सिग्नल कैन बी क्लासिफाइड इनटू टू टाइप्स analog signal and digital signal most of the signal are analog in nature which means the signal will be continuous with respect to time to convert a signal from analog signal to digital signal we can use sampling and quantization using sampling and quantization first the analog signal is converted into discrete signal in which the signal is sampled at discrete interval of time once the discrete signal is obtained this signal is converted into digital signal to convert from discrete signal to digital signal each sample is converted into binary code and the sequence of binary code is known as digital signal now let us understand what is signal processing signal processing is performed to analyze modify and synthesize the signal so to analyze a signal modify a signal and to synthesize a signal we will go with a signal processing a signal processing can be classified into two types first one is analog signal processing second one is digital signal processing in analog signal processing the signal is processed using electrical network which is consisting of active and passive elements example for active element is op amp and for passive element we can take capacitor resistor inductor etc as an example so using the electrical network the analog signals will be processed in analog signal processing in digital signal processing an analog signal is converted into digital signal then that digital signal is processed after processing the signal the digital signal is converted back to the analog form now let us understand the block diagram of digital signal processing in this block diagram we can identify different blocks like pre filter analog to digital converter digital signal processor digital to analog converter and post filter here pre filter is a low pass filter which allows frequency up to certain threshold values it attenuates all frequency above the threshold value these attenuated frequencies are unwanted frequencies that make it difficult to sample an analog signal next stage is analog to digital converter this analog to digital converter takes in the analog signal and produces a stream of binary data next is digital signal processor digital signal processor is the heart of the system all the signal processing work is done in this unit nowadays cmos or ulsi chips are used to make dsp or digital signal processor these processing units have high speed high data throughputs and dedicated instruction sets which are helpful in processing the signal next block is digital to analog converter it performs operation opposite to analog to digital converter it produces equivalent analog signal from binary numbers next is post filter it is also a low pass filter which smoothens the waveform by removing the high frequency to obtain the desired signal which will be in analog form now let us understand the applications of dsp digital signal processing is having wide range of applications it can be used in speech and audio processing for example speech recognition speech synthesis noise filtering coding compression of signal etc it can be used for image and video processing for example enhancing coding compression animation etc it can be used for military and space application for example radar processing missile guidance etc it can be used for biomedical and healthcare for example ecg analysis 
X-ray analysis, scanning, etc. It can be used for consumer electronics, for example, digital television, digital camera, mobile phones, interactive entertainment systems, etc. Now let us see the advantages of digital signal processing. Compared to analog signal processing, digital signal processing can perform complicated signal processing operations. Hence, analog signal processing is not flexible in signal processing and system design is complex. If we have a complex system, then the system will be expensive. Some of the important advantages of DSP are, it is flexible in operation, which means digital signal processing operations can be easily modified by simple change in software. It can produce accurate result, which means digital signal processor can be made to give the desired accuracy of required degree by choosing the appropriate data. It is stable system since DSP operations are based on addition and multiplication. So the system will be extremely stable. The storage of digital data is also less expensive compared to analog signal processor and the system is low cost which means DSP has low cost due to VLSI technology which reduces the cost of memories, logic gates and microprocessor etc. One of the disadvantage of DSP is uh, it is having limited speed of operation which is limited by DSP hardware especially at high frequencies. So this is only one of the major disadvantage in digital signal processing. This is about the introduction to digital signal processing. I hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.